Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. <clears throat> we are back. If you are new, smash that like button to subscribe. If you would like to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. All right, Virgo, let's take a look. Happy birthday to you guys. Whoever has a birthday today, uh, I'm wishing you a very happy birthday. Let's get into your reading and see what's showing up here for September. Okay, so you've got your past your current energies, driving your reading, what's crowning, what's before you, position of you, position of another person, hopes and fears, and the outcome. Okay, bottom of the deck is the king of cups. So Cancer Scorpio, Pisces energy being very significant in September. Um, could be a Pisces. We do have Pisces energy here. So it looks like there's an energy of someone who's patiently waiting or trying to see things from a different point of view, a different angle. Yeah, definitely like a, like a different angle, trying to have some self-control and moderation. Um, could have something to do with, there's some kind of, hmm, Maybe some harsh words or um, some type of harsh situation occurring. Um, some argument, uh, some kind of cutoff of some sort. The Ace of Wands is like a potential new start. So you feel like there could be like a King of Cups, masculine, feminine energy who's waiting uh, for the right time. Uh, and trying to, so it feels like it, uh, it, there's some kind of argument or something or cutoff or something that happens in September. This person is viewing it from a different point of view. Like, well, hmm, what was really said here? What was the what was the deal? Yeah, and there's a patience and a waiting, and there's like this recovery after a heartbreak. All right, so the past energy is the Knight of Cups. So it looks like at some point in the past, Virgo, there was a lot of love that was given um admiration this you know the knight of cups is <clears throat> prince or princess charming <clears throat> someone who excuse me someone who just giving a lot of like it's very emotional right very emotional maybe there was a proposal or a love offer or someone that was uh, trying to be very emotionally open or being like offering empathy or sympathy or something like that um, you know, the Knight of Cups is always someone that comes in on their horse and they're, they're just very, it's like an energy of someone who's just all about the emotions and just giving of the feeling and being, trying to be understanding. Okay. But the current energy here is the Seven of Swords. So it looks like right now there's this uh, kind of like this running away and this heartbreak or this running away from a breakup, um, I, f I don't know if it's you, I, I, it could be you, but I just feel like there's an, somebody here who's being very deceptive. I feel like someone might have given a lot of love or showed a lot of romantic interest and is currently running away, okay? And is causing a heartbreak of some sort, okay? Or there's an argument or is running away from an argument. It's just like not dealing with it. Doesn't want to con... Um, doesn't want to confront some kind of issue or so the three of swords does make me feel because the swords are about the communication and the thoughts so i feel like somebody here just this kind of like doesn't want to deal or work out the problem or work out some kind of situation or issue okay like it's over it's done it's broken up with we're not talking that's the energy that's playing out right now this is what i feel okay and there's a lot of with the moon again more pisces energy there's a lot of hidden things right now there's a, there's this like this this desire to to currently come back and talk and work things out and get on the same page but there's so many unknowns here let me get a clarifying card for the moon there's so many unknowns it's like I just feel like somebody, it could be you or another person, it's like so many unseen issues and things that there's very little emotional, uh, and there's few emotional answers. Uh, the moon is like a hiding, there's a hiding energy. Someone is hiding. 
not sharing feelings or maybe just doing a lot of breadcrumbing as well giving very little yeah that's what i feel like it's a lack of revelation somebody is not revealing how they're truly feeling they might be showing a little bit of emotion giving a tiny little bit of clarity um but there's this somebody here is just going by their gut you know just trying to trust their intuition about what is that what is happening here what is actually going on because there's a lack of clarity you know the the moon i feel like there's no truth is being revealed you might receive some messages in your dreams you could be receiving that currently but i do see like there's this desire to be on the same page or somebody thought in their mind or believed like in their head that two people were in this two of cups energy and that currently you might you might be thinking that right now like this is the person for me this is it what happened somebody ran away somebody rejected love this is what i feel like happened here so or what's currently you know what's currently going on so going forward the high priestess is here so there is this again secrecy there's no unveiling let me get a clarifying card okay oh and then the complete opposite with the sun so i do feel like something's going to come out into the open and be revealed somebody's going to reveal a secret and what they've been holding in it could be a leo again it could be a cancer but somebody is going there's going to be a revelation that it's like an aha moment that's going to happen okay it's almost as if i don't know if um so the sun doesn't often represent truth coming out but it does represent when you have the moon not everything is illuminated but with the sun everything is illuminated the secrets this is like a bleach wash <laughs> the secrets are, all the whatever's been hidden is going to come into the light let's take a look and see what is that what's going to come out into the open here oh wow three of pentacles one more oh and there's king of cups is back again so there's a king of cups is going to um reveal that they want some type of teamwork or they want to collaborate or sometimes the three of pentacles can be a marriage card a commitment put the effort in you know communicate this so i do feel like this is going to come out into the open okay it's going to be revealed to you now i don't know if this is someone that you're currently connecting with or that is significant to you they could be sun moon rising or venus and water energy as well but I, i'm just getting a sense that, that they're going to reveal what they want in september or what they're working on and you know what why they ran away and again that three of pentacles yeah this is like teamwork this is like being a team being together let's look at you virgo so you're sitting here with the king of pentacles this is your energy oh okay yeah virgo looks to me like you're you're the struggle's done with you like you are you're not carrying a burden you've carried all the burden you've car can carry for a lifetime so i feel like your energy in september is <laughs> it's just done here it looks like you're finished you're done um perhaps with some relationship here like you just it looks like you just don't want to <sighs> you're focusing on your work you're focusing on your business you're focusing on the things that are truly tangible and real in your life okay whatever that might mean for you your money um your your current present situation seems to be what's most important for you in september yeah i just feel like you're completely like exhausted and you don't want this some kind of burden now this other person yeah they have the three of cups so there is they're gonna try to initiate a reunion but keep in mind here the three of cups is like i mean i feel like this person's going to be seeking your support your validation your, maybe validation they're seeking your support okay um definitely even friendship like they may even come to you and just offer a friendship as well they're coming in as friends yeah yeah this great idea what well, can we just be friends yeah virgo definitely going to bring clarity and they might even say um that's the best that they can offer yeah they do want to try to overcome challenges but their biggest challenge here is this four of cups right they this person has um an issue with 
connecting. They don't get it. They don't have like, they, they often feel unfulfilled or they're often unable to fulfill that emotional connection within themselves or with other people. So maybe you already know this Virgo. Yeah. I kind of feel like this person's, um, might be a surprise to you to actually like hear it from the horse's mouth. Uh, maybe it's just clarity or something that you find out that you're just like, yeah, you already know. I, I just feel like here, Virgo, you're done here. You know, you've carried the last bundle of, of bricks up that hill. That's the final. It's very final with the 10. Okay. So you do have in your hopes and fears. I mean, I feel like Virgo, you have the nine of cups. So I do feel like for you, you know, your, your biggest hope is contentment, having your wishes, your dreams, your desires, all of that met for yourself. You know, I feel like you have a lot of, um, you're still hopeful about things working out for you. Okay. Definitely. I mean, I do feel like you could have a little bit of fear that, you know, um, you don't want to get, you don't want to rush into anything. You might fear that that, like you, you might have a habit of that. You might have some fears about that. Some of you might be, um, I don't, I don't know how to say this. It, it, they're saying like, you might feel like you just don't want to fear. Like if you get in a relationship with someone that you might lose your ability to care for yourself. I'm not sure where that's coming from. Um, there might be some kind of fear about that. Yeah. But I do see here with the outcome, I like that you have the seven of wands. Okay. In regards to all areas of your life, because I just like in yesterday's reading, uh, the seven of wands is like, you know, you know, I'm protecting, I'm protecting you're in protective mode. I feel like, um, you're going to be okay when it comes to other relationships or whatever. But even with this person, I feel like you're just not going to accept um, it's kind of like you're taking the high road. You're taking the high ground here. Um, you're pushing back. I see the outcome is, is you're pushing back and you do have the lover. So I feel like it's because you know that, um, you deserve this love energy here where two people are capable, willing, and motivated and willing, uh, emotionally open to participate in each other's lives. I feel like that's what you want. Okay, I, I don't feel like you want someone that runs away when there's com confrontation or conflict. And that's kind of what I feel like. You know, this Knight of Cups, the way the energy comes in is just, you know, knights are in and out. They just kind of, they're like fairies. They just kind of jump in, they dance around, they sprinkle emotional love glitter everywhere, and then they're off on to the next thing, right? Um, so that's not very sustainable. And I feel like that's something you might know. Um, I see you kind of pushing back and like, you know what? I feel like you're going to wait. You're going to push back on any relationship that isn't going to go or any connection with someone that isn't going to go in to this lover's energy where it's two people deciding to have this deep loving partnership, you know, like both people making the cho choice to be together to strengthen that bond. Yeah. So you're pretty much like, I, I kind of feel like you're like, if you can't have it, you don't want it kind of energy. Okay. And I will make an extended reading to see how this lover's energy is going to turn out because I do feel like there is a love coming into your life. Like a, not a love, but a, a potential partner who's going to come into your life where you both can cultivate and create a beautiful new love start. So if you want to click off the video now and go to the extended the link will be in the description box below. That way you can just go right into it. But I am going to finish the rest of this reading here because I'm feeling a little bit better, you guys. So Let's take a look at what are your messages of love here with this situation. Also, just so you know, we do have, we get a couple of signs here. Uh, so Gemini is here. Uh, Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And Leo. Okay, so that might ring some bells for, for you. Okay, take it with a grain of salt. All right, let's take a look. Messages of love here for Virgo. All right, yeah, soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally, okay? So I want to say something. I feel like you might have been dealing with someone that um, gave you a lot of 
I did a lot of love bombing, that kind of thing. This person only capable of giving friendship. They can't, they're just emotionally unavailable, can't commit to anything as deep as this, this lover's energy, okay? Now, does that make them a bad person? Not necessarily, but they might not be self-aware. So I do feel like this person does have a level of love and, and respect for you, and there is a soulmate connection. Um, and I do, I feel like maybe you felt that, but maybe you wanted more. And this person might have too, and maybe they tried, but they couldn't. Um, I, I feel like you need to understand that. Like, not every person that comes into our lives is meant to be our, our one and only. Sometimes people are put into um, our lives to be, you know, lessons or just friends. You know, it is what it is, right? But I do feel like here that this is a soulmate relationship that wasn't really meant to be anything more than that. At least in the time being. However long your time being is. Okay. But this person's obsessed with you. All right. They are. They can't get it together. This person does not know how to get themselves together. They might get very obsessed with the relationship. They run away. Might be a lot of hot and cold energy going back. Back and forth. Yeah. There might have been a lot of playing hard to get. Kind of stuff going on here. And when in absence from each other, there's obsessive thoughts. Uh, sinking, things like that, coming back together, running away, coming back together. It's very unhealthy. But a mm, little bit of a toxic dance there. Um, if the, you and this person had just decided from the very start, if there wasn't this Knight of Cups, and it was just like, you know, we're good friends, probably wouldn't have all this crazy energy here. Yeah, see, here's retreat. It's just like a retreating, coming back. It's almost like you, you may have felt like, oh, destined to be stuck in this relationship with this person, faded kind of thing. Then there's another chance and back and forth and back and forth. And then, right, and then there's rejection. And it's like too much, too much. Probably, probably seriously took a toll on, on both people or, or maybe even just you, Virgo. Okay, yeah, so it feels like your message here is just accept this situation, right? You got somebody coming in and out of your life, in and out of your life, or you're going in and out of their life, you know, you know, you have to make a decision, right? Obviously, and that's what the lover says. That's a decision card. Do you want to, do you want to have that kind of relationship with someone? Or is it better to just keep your expectations so damn low to know that this person's never going to be able to meet your needs and just say, okay, we can be friends or just not talk at all? Fine, right? It's it's kind of a decision I feel like you need to make. It's up to you what it is that you're looking for. And, um, you know, make sure you have those clear defined lines and boundaries with people. You know, um, if you've got someone where, where like you decide, okay, we're just going to be friends and then they're flirting with you to the point where they're leading you on or you feel like, okay, wait, this is not appropriate. Then, you know, you got to have those clear defined boundaries with people, especially if you go from being romantically involved to it just becoming friends. Um, it's got to, it's got to have a, it's got to have a clear defined boundary there. Right. Okay. Let's see what else is going on. Let's take a look and see. Okay. Yeah, there you go. You got let go. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. I do feel, Virgo, listen. Yep. The the right the right person is going to come. And that doesn't mean Mr. or Mrs. Right. Just Mr. or Mrs. Right for you. So this is like an energy of like two, like two people got to be on the same page and got to be willing to go to be it's it's a healthy it's a healthy thing healthy decisions right to to go uh, to explore a relationship together right some people can come off as acting as if that's what they want and the, and they could be faking it or they they could be they could change their mind you know some people will fake empathy to get what they want and that could be very fooling <clears throat> okay yeah and there you go cycles fake karma something ending something beginning right so there's a cycle here that i feel like you're done with it yeah because you have the ten of wands virgo <clears throat> i feel like you're being very pragmatic and practical you're done you're you're not i mean this person mm, whoever they are to you whoever your person is it's just an in and out kind of thing it looks like you're just you shut the barn door virgo did you shut the barn door <laughs> And like I used to say, I, mean, I don't even know it's to the point anymore where if this person comes back with that bloody stump that you would even take it back, right? Because 
it's just like a cycle that keeps repeating yeah and now you're you're very cautious see being very cautious here you do have like um i feel like if you want to have new love or a new opportunity for to cultivate love in a new relationship with someone um you're gonna have to let go of this person if you haven't done it yet yeah yeah look <laughs> There might be somebody else involved in this connection as well like i said you do have the three of cups here so whoever this person is you're dealing with you know they kind of they might be someone who just cycles back around you know they cycle in and out of relationships they can't commit so kind of keep everybody like at surface level you might know about this already and they might um put other people before you they don't prioritize a relationship here they run away whenever there's some kind of argument or conflict conflicts in relationships are normal and so when two people have a healthy relationship they they sit down to resolve the conflict they don't run away so if you if you're someone who's in a relationship with someone who's dismissing or dismissive or they they're very avoidant and they run away they don't want to try to work through the conflicts it says people usually have a lot of shame or um they don't want to hear bad things about themselves it could be very egotistical um healthy people just kind of are like what's the matter babe all right let's sit down and talk about it you know what i mean they try to work things out I don't feel like that's what the situation is here. And that's, you know, why would you want to be with someone that doesn't want to try to resolve problems? <laughs> Every relationship has has moments of that. It's not, it should never be like severe conflict. You know, if you're dealing with severe conflicts, like severe, that, there's, that's a problem. But little conflicts, you know. Uh, but if you're dealing with like... If, if you're in a relationship with someone and, and the conflict is that someone keeps dismissing your feelings or you feel stifled and you can't share, or you're dealing with someone who is, um, you've expressed your needs and, and they're constantly sabotaging those and they're not respecting your boundaries um, and you have to keep repeating yourself, then that there's an issue, a very serious issue there, you know, because people who, who respect you and, and care about you are, if you set a boundary with them, they're going to hear it and they're going to respect that and others who don't care are going to just bulldoze over them or punish you for having them very important yeah okay commitment things are getting serious the person's going to come in with the whole commitment thing yeah just be careful of that virgo let's see what their chinese sign is here chinese sign do we have year of the tiger year of the dog year of the monkey year of the rat Year of the horse, year of the goat, year of the pig, and I have dog again, and also rooster. Okay, so that could be you, that could be the person. Let's take a look and see. Amira's love messages, what else is showing up here? Okay, yeah, there you go, friendship. So, hmm. Well, Virgo, if you want to be friendly with, just have a friendship with this person, nothing more, it's totally up to you. You do what you want. If that's not, not something that's good for you, because um, I feel like they're going to come in with that. <coughs> Excuse me. If that's not going to work for you, you do what you need to do. Okay. Okay. All right. Children might be very significant to you this week, May this month. And then you also have spiritual growth. Hmm. So I also want to say that whoever's coming in and offering friendship after a romantic experience with them, there's an energy of um, childlike behavior, childish behavior. I don't know why I need to say that. Um, doesn't mean that that's your situation, but for someone it might be um, past lover, right? Some of you are um, learning and having growth away from a past love, moving into the next phase of your love life here in September. Very beautiful energy. Okay, and some of you are traveling. Very good. Going somewhere special. Doing some traveling in September. Yeah, 
<laughs> for some of you, that soulmate's going to be trying to travel towards you. Um, if you're at a distance to each other, definitely. <clears throat> Try to have union or commitment with you. All right, they're going to bring it up. Okay, but I feel like you need to understand that if you've been with someone for a long time and they're running away from commitment, what makes what makes you think that like if they're running away from conflict, what makes you think that getting in a committed relationship with them is going to fix it? It's kind of like people who have problems in their their marriages, and they can't resolve their problems, so they try to have more kids. Oh, well, it'll just have another baby. That'll that'll bring out the love and the nurturing and no, 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 it doesn't. Therapy does that. So just be wary of anyone who's you know okay, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna commit, but you guys haven't fixed any problems or resolved the conflicts. Um, then you're just gonna be bound to the person as they are disrespecting your boundaries. Okay, so think about that. You know these these end game commitments, rings, marriage children moving in together all these do not fix problems right we want to get to those final stages when we've realized that we can work together in a partnership then these are bonuses that come in right it's not okay well if you just commit everything will be fine no no <laughs> it will not okay let's get a couple of moon pie messages here and this person might be, um, especially since you're walking away here, I do feel like they may try to come in with the big old serious relationship talk, partnership, that kind of thing. If you if you stay in this pushing back, okay. All right, you do have the moon again, right? Don't let your mind play tricks on you, Virgo. Trust your gut, especially when you're in doubt of a situation or a person. Take caution. The moon is definitely driving this reading. All right, but you do have a new love beginning happening here. Okay, new love is going to come in. For some of you, you have a motherly figure who's guiding you, whether she's present or past. You are divinely blessed. Some of you are going to be learning a new skill. <laughs> Um, something to do with a new love start as well. Yeah. I, I do see, listen, Virgo, I feel like your future does hold um, a beautiful new relation, a beautiful new love event that will happen for you, right? So I always like to say, like, you know, people are like, when will I find new love? We don't find love. We, we create love. We're all given an empty box, an empty gift wrap box. There's nothing in it. We have to put in into it to create and build. It's like when we're building a home, right? Some people just buy the home. It's already built, right? But when we're, we're getting, coming into a relationship with someone, we are cultivating and creating this love together, okay? Love does it, anything that just falls on your door, <laughs> right? It can be a gift, you know, but it, it doesn't mean not everybody comes complete, right? We all have to work on these things together, right? So I, th I think it's more healthy to say, um, when will I have the opportunity to connect with someone and create a beautiful, um, harmonic relationship? When will I have that opportunity? You know, if you're seeking that, right? Um, so I kind of feel like that's going to come for you. Definitely. I don't kind of, I know it is, but I, f I feel mostly it's going to come when you're able to turn your face in the opposite direction to the sun and face the light okay now if you're that person that wants to try to work on things with another person well that's a totally different reading and that's what i'm going to go into the extended um because if 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 this person's coming in you know because we do see uh, there's some commitment and there's some serious relationship stuff coming from them but it's it might be eh, yeah they kind of if you tell them no okay i'll give you this so we'll look into that and see how that plays out there's no guarantee that it's going to work out but we will take a look and see where that goes so like i said the link will be in the description box below let's just take a quick look at your money really quick okay just want to see your finances your finances all right you got frozen there may be a hiring freeze or no new work now being aloof can leave you out in the cold a warm follow-up gets you in the door okay so as far as your your money goes here Virgo, um 
uh, if you've been putting out for jobs or putting your resume out there, trying to do follow-up leads and stuff, or you haven't been, you got to start following up. Uh, I feel like some following up is going to bring some money in. Follow up. Okay, you also have innovation. You will need to come up with new strategies to keep your plans in motion. Old ways are outdated. Invent, create, and test ideas. Beautiful. You need to tweak some things, I feel, Virgo. Okay, you also have investment. You might be doing some crypto investing. Invest in your education. Make some big plans for the future. Take calculated risk, but save something to fall back on. Okay. So you might be learning or beginning to invest in crypto. Or investing your money in other things at this time. Oh, wow. All right, so you also have guidance. Divine forces are showing you the way to go. You are discovering another piece of your destiny and your purpose in life. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Okay. So let's move things over here, you guys, and get into... All right, who's showing up here? So we have Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, and Taurus. September 1st birthday. Okay. So we have 60, 1966, 30, someone's 36, 1981, August 25th, someone's 38, someone's 58, someone's 50, 1976, 1973, 1969. Um, oh, May through October, very significant time period. September 9th. September 16th, September 3rd, 1980, 41, August 31st, <clears throat> okay, September 21st, okay, January, significant month, time period, okay, I have like a ton of initials here, okay, I'm hearing, okay, we have Ollie, <laughs> we have a W, we have O, we have L, we have D, the letter P, the letter E, the letter W, we have A, the letter Z, we have J, and I, okay. So, I'm hearing William, okay, I'm hearing Z, Z E D, Jacqueline, DJ, I'm um, hearing Walt, Walter, someone's a police officer, okay, someone's in Israel or is this Israeli, it's from Israel or the Middle East, mm, somebody's Doing, getting some surgery on their jowls. <laughs> just heard that. Wade. Just heard the name Wade. Elizabeth. To give me Elizabeth. Joseph. Josh. Laura. Lou. Aiden. JC. Okay, they're giving me Walt again. I'm hearing Dennis. Ian. Okay. All right, let's get into some charms here. Okay. So you do have a rose. You might receive a rose on your birthday. You might get a rose on your birthday. Somebody send you a rose or some roses. Very pretty. Maybe your name is Rose. Or there's a connection to red roses. <clears throat> okay, you also have um, a moon with a star. It's significant. There's someone. A moon with stars. Or a star. Kind of looks like that. Like a little star sitting on like a crescent moon design that might be significant for some of you you might have like um a charm or tattoo like that you also have oh a black seahorse 
a black seahorse. Dark horse. Is that, is that a song? Dark horse. Is that a song? I thought I heard that before. Isn't that the Katy Perry? Wait. Uh, Dark Horse Comics? Yeah, it is. Dark Horse. Kitty. So that song might mean something to someone. Um, I'm just looking at it. I knew you were going to come to me and here you are, but you better choose carefully because I'm capable of anything and everything. Make me your one and only, but don't make me your enemy. So you want to play with magic? You should know what you're falling for. Baby, do you dare do this? Because I'm coming at you like a dark horse. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is something... Oops, sorry, you guys. I didn't realize we were blurring. Something to do with that song just came to me. Yeah, and then you've got... Okay, somebody might be mixed race, I just heard. But we also have... Um, you know, you have like a white unicorn with a dark t dark mane and tail. Okay, that's interesting. Someone's um, very pale and has dark hair also. And you've got um, a couple of cherries here. Somebody's name might be Cherry. It could be like a nickname. Maybe you live in a town. Uh, or Cherry Street or some connection to cherries. You could be eating cherries. Maybe you got like little cherries air freshener hanging from your car. It doesn't have to be cherries. It could be a cherry smell or fruity smell air freshener hanging from like your rear view. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, Virgo, I'm going to leave that message for you. Again, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. Go ahead and book that reading with me, right? I'm also going to go over to the extended to see like how this whole thing's going to turn out, right? And what you should do. If, especially if this person's coming in with some kind of like all right trying to get you back i was like all right i'll commit fine <laughs> then we'll see what that you know how that plays out for you in the, the rest of the year all right you guys love you thanks for being here i'll see you all back here oh wait real quick for those of you i know we had a whole bunch of people who joined there will be a membership video that you'll be able to listen to um, either after this, I might upload it before this or after, but if you have joined my channel and you became a VIP bonus member, you will have a video up. Okay. So I'm going to start posting a bit more this week, but there will be a video for you. So just make sure that you are a VIP bonus member to get access to those other videos. If you're just a loyalty member, $2.99 per month, you won't have access to that. But if you want to upgrade, you'll get more bonus content from me, okay? So definitely check that out. So real quick, for those of you who have joined, because I said that I would give you shout outs, um, we have, since I've been out of here all week, welcome Terry Poff and Norris Lauk, Lauk, Rebecca Janke, welcome. Uh, O.W., Twyla Towns, Aina, Art Music Wine, Sky Ski 17. Welcome, you guys. Welcome. Brianna Arena, Elaine Scarariavi, Cindy Canuel, Adri Carter, Bella B, Kimmy. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for becoming a member. So, yeah, definitely go check out the uh, bonus. Uh, member video will be here and if you want to get more information on this reading the link will be below for the extended okay you guys love you i'll see you all back here tomorrow bye i just can't let you go lord knows that i've tried to you said i was the only